Hey everyone, I'm Rue. This series is all about big questions. Questions you've sent in to us. Stella asks, when I pray for something, why doesn't God give me what I pray for right away? Why do I have to wait? I wonder what it would be like if God gave me everything I wanted right away. I want a million dollars. What? Oh my goodness. Ah! I want an endless supply of ice cream. That's not that much. Okay, that's pretty great. <gasps> Several minutes later. Mm -mm, not so great. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't get everything I want. Today in the source, Bowie wants God to do something for him, but Bowie might not get exactly what he wants. Let's find out what happens. Okay, first question. What was the Magna Carta? Magna Carta. Magna Carta. I know this. Do you? Yes, uh, it, was, it was a truck that was used magnetically to push things. The Magna Carta, it was invented by Jeremiah Carta. Um, no. It was a series of laws created by King John in England that would later go on to inspire the Constitution. <laughs> I was way off. <laughs> Try another one. Okay, um, what is a bill? <laughs> really? It's a thing on a duck's face. Ah. Um, that would be a good answer if this was science class, but this is history. Come on, Bowie. I hear the sounds of studying. Oh, well, we're trying. History is not easy. There are a lot of facts. Well, I have something that will brighten your day. Oh, it's from Samantha Stone. Is she on the test? It looks like an invitation. To what? I don't get invited to anything. Well, get ready for a change. She's invited you to her birthday party. I'm invited to a birthday party? Why? She thinks you're cool. Someone thinks I'm cool. God finally it's my prayer. I'm going to a birthday party. Oh my god, world. There's a new Bowie in town. And he's going to all the parties. Go! <laughs> new Bowie? Hmm? How many versions are there? Oh, more than you know. It's not a big deal. It's a very big deal. Bowie, what's wrong? <laughs> what's wrong? <laughs> what's wrong? Tell me what grade you see there. It uh, appears to be an F. Mm, I knew it. I was hoping that Mr. Wharton ran out of ink and it's actually an A. Bowie, you've had bad grades before. Remember math last year? This is just one test. This is different. This is affecting my life. My mom said, if I get another bad grade, I can't go to the party. Just when I thought I was finally on my way. I get hit by the magnet cart. Dude, you just gotta study more. What I need is a plan. I've heard that studying is a great plan. Wait a minute. Why am I freaking out? Because it's kind of what you do. That was old Bowie. This is new Bowie. Look, God finally answered my prayer about making friends. He could totally answer my prayer about passing history. Bowie, I don't think that's how prayer works. Uh, it, 
Totally is. Didn't God help you with that volcano? Uh, yeah, but this is different. Oh, this is great. You know, all I have to do is pray and then all my problems are gone. I still think you need to study. Nope, I'm just gonna pray. Dear God, please help me pass history. Thank you, Bowie. Ah, I feel better already. Bowie, just because you prayed doesn't mean you're gonna pass. Oh, Gabby, I'm totally going to pass. How can you be so sure? God knows everything, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. So why can't he give me the answers to pass the test? I don't know. I'm gonna pass this class. You'll see. It's all good. Hey again, I wanna tell you about something that happened in Bible times. You can read about this story in the book of 2 Kings, in the Bible. Hezekiah was king of the land of Judah and life seemed pretty good. Yep, being a king is awesome. But one day, he learned that the most powerful army in the world was on its way to attack the land of Judah, Hezekiah's kingdom. Ho, oh, ho, hold up. Not awesome. Hezekiah met with the people in his palace, and they all prayed that God would help them. But some of the people who lived in Judah didn't believe in God. They got angry and told Hezekiah to just give up. <laughs> yeah, bro. Y'all hear something? They learned the enemy army was still on its way. They prayed some more. Ha, God, you got this, right? One day, the enemy army was right outside their walls. Hezekiah trusted God, but he was starting to get really worried. Uh, God, we, we, we really need your help here, okay? Hezekiah prayed and he also prepared he dug wells so people could get water without going outside their city walls. He stored up food so they could stay safe inside the city for a long time. Still, Hezekiah knew they weren't strong enough to win the battle without God's help. To make things worse, he got a letter from their enemies. God won't save you. Your king can't do anything. Our army is way too strong. You have no hope. Man! Some people who didn't trust God wanted to run and hide or just surrender. Hezekiah didn't stop trusting God though, even when it looked like things couldn't get any worse. God, we really need your help. We can't do this on our own. The next morning, something was different. They looked out at the enemy army and they were gone. God had showed up that night and overcame the whole enemy army. They ran all the way back to their own land. That day, everyone in Judah saw how powerful God is. Hey, what up, what up? Go God, go God, go God, go God, go God. Hey, go God. God always hears us, but he doesn't always do what we want him to. He won't give us everything we ask for, and sometimes he just wants us to wait. Hezekiah had to wait a long time for God's answer, but when God did his thing, everyone saw how awesome he was. So I think we have an answer to our question. Why doesn't God give me what I pray for right now? The answer is, God knows what's best for us. He had a plan all the way through Hezekiah's story. He has a plan for you today. Sometimes God tells us no or wants us to wait because what he has planned is even more amazing than anything we expect. I wonder how God will answer Bowie's prayer in the source. Let's find out. Can't believe it. Can't believe it. I think I can guess what happened. You failed again. The biggest failure ever. I got two questions right. Did you study at all? Yes. I did, I really did. I was up the night before studying the entire time, but when it came to the test day, I couldn't remember a single thing. I thought God was gonna help me. 
He is helping you, Bowie, but God is not a genie in a lamp. You can't just make wishes. Oh, I know that. Remember when I thought just thinking Jesus would help me win football games? Don't you see? God already answered my prayer. I got invited to the coolest party and now I can't even go. I'm so confused. Okay, I think we're at the point where you need someone way smarter than me. Mm. And that person just walked in. Hi, Miss Maine. Bye, Miss Maine. Bowie, you looked really upset in the hallway. Is everything okay? I don't know. Failed another history test. Yeah, I'm sorry, Bowie. History can be tough. Exactly! And those that don't know history are doomed to repeat it! I don't know what that means exactly, but it sounds awful. You know, Bowie, there are things that can help you. You're gonna get Mr. Wharton to give me an A, right? <laughs> no. But I am helping Trixie start a study group after school. <sighs> Don't you see? I'm tired of always being the one that needs help, okay? When, when I needed help with a math test, Gabby and Trixie helped me. When I needed help with Jim, Jesse helped me. I'm tired of always looking like the one that needs help. It makes me look weak. Bowie, asking for help when you need it is a very strong thing to do. And if you look through history, the people who never asked for help, those are the people that were doomed. Yeah. Thanks, Miss Maine, but I feel like this is something that I could handle on my own. No. Sometimes I wonder if they even hear the words coming out of my mouth. I talked to Mr. Corbin and he told me to join the study group. This is from Miss Maine. Oh, it's the invitation from the study group. Study groups are great. Yeah, you helped me when you tutored me last year. It's not about the tutoring. It's about the fact that God is not helping me. God is most certainly helping you, Bowie. How? I prayed and he didn't answer the prayer. That's not helping. Bowie, don't you think God helped you when you stood up to Mason? He's a huge bully and like way bigger than you and he totally backed down. Yeah, but now God just left and he's not helping me anymore. Okay, that's enough. Beauregard Charker, stand up. Beauregard, this is serious. You are better than this. Bowie, God loves you, he is not against you. Then why didn't he answer the prayer? I'm a little confused about that myself. Aren't grades important to God? God did answer Bowie's prayer. He just didn't answer it the way Bowie wanted him to. Right, and therefore, God doesn't like me. Bowie, look at this. Ah, oh, you coming up with a plan? Will it get God to help me? <sighs> Bowie, this is me. Hi, Cartoon Gabby. This is how my year has gone. This year started super awesome. Miss Maine became our teacher. Then I prayed about getting a scholarship and having peace. I lost my scholarship and I lost my peace. Aww. That was a pretty dark day. Mm hmm I was so upset that God didn't answer my prayer the way that I wanted him to. But then, Miss Maine came and talked to me and offered to help me. And you got what you wanted? No, but it led me to apply to a different school. It's not the school that I originally wanted, but it's the school that's best for me. I'm lost. God knows what's best. Look, I didn't even think about applying to this school, but it turns out that it's a school where Miss Maine went, and now I get to go there too. Ultimately, this rejection led to something so much better. Oh, I still don't get it. I think I get it. God has better plans than anything we could ever come up with. Let me see that. Mm -hmm. Do you remember when I prayed to God to help me win the big game? Yeah. And you totally didn't win. Right, and I felt awful. But that disappointment ultimately led me to becoming friends with Jesus. If I would have gotten what I wanted, then that might not have happened. Whoa, God really does have the coolest plans. He does. We just need to trust him. So by failing my history test, I could join the study group. And who knows where that'll lead. Exactly. I think I will tell Miss Man I want the help. 
Thanks, Gabby. You're a good teacher. That's right, you know. Have you ever thought about becoming a teacher? No, not really. I want to be a news reporter. Well, I think you should. You'd make a great teacher. Swish! <laughs> you know, I think Jesse's right. I think you'd make a great one. Thanks, Miss Mean. I just spoke to Bowie in the hallway. I don't know what you said, but it got through to him. So thank you. You're welcome. I just showed him what happened to me. You have a gift for teaching. I think you should definitely consider it. Um, God, is this what you've been leading me to be this whole time? Could I really be a teacher? Love, Gabby. Today has been amazing. We learned that God knows what's best for us. We also saw Bowie learn that God always has a plan, even when he doesn't answer our prayers the way we want him to. Gabby might have seen how God is working in her life in a cool way too. The amazing thing is, God always hears you when you talk to him. That's why my challenge for you today is, spend time talking to God this week. In fact, if you want to be sure to remember what you prayed about, try writing down your prayers. That's what I do in my journal or diary. Then, if you see God answer one of them, write that down too. It can be really neat to see how God is working in your life. Wow, thanks for watching everyone. I'll see you next week.